Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of Alice Bradley and uh, she is a fitness model so stay tuned and I'll tell you how I got this fabulous shot. Well welcome back and how did I get this fabulous shot? I have been on Instagram for some period of time now and I'm constantly getting bombarded by people who want me to photograph them. But of course the majority of those people don't want to pay. And as a professional photographer, that's kind of insulting. I'm not what is known as a photog and I'm not going to insult those people who call themselves photogs, but I am a professional photographer and I like to get paid for my work. Now the only other way that I'm going to work with anybody is if there's going to be some mutual trade between the two of us and that's either going to be something for the, my YouTube channel or something for my book or my blog. Then I will say yes, let's set up something and shoot together. If not, go shoot with one of those photogs because as I said before, I'm a professional photographer and I need to be respected as one. So let's move along and discuss how I got this fabulous shot here. Now, when you come to shoot somebody in fitness, the one thing you really wanna do is to really show off their shape, their physique, because they've been working in the gym and they wanna see some results in the photograph. So the way I set this up was having a light that came across from one side to sort of, let's say, shape the body by bringing some shadows across and then filling it in slightly with a reflector on one side. And then I used lights coming from the background to silhouette the model to make her stand away from the background. Now, the other thing I did also was to add another light that sort of added a gradient to the backdrop. And as you can see in this diagram here, this is how I set up all my lights. So that's the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out how you're going to show off their figure as much as possible. So this is my process without getting into very high contrast, black and white or anything like that. This is a typical sort of athletic shot that you would see in Shape magazine. I got in touch with uh, Alice and we discussed a time and I figured out that I had a friend that had a uh, place uh, that I could use for the photo shoot and what I did was I actually set this up in their living room So this is not in a rented studio. This is not in my studio This is actually in a living room and you can see in my video here that I've got all my different lights set up in just a room And it's something you could do in your own home if you wanted to emulate something like this and you didn't have the studio space However, a lot of you I'm sure I have access to a garage and that always makes a really great studio space uh, the others that uh, that are professional photographers that maybe follow me, I'm sure you got a studio or you got a friend that's got a studio and you can shoot there. That's primarily what I did was I decided to use somebody's living room, set it up because the model didn't want to do a drive all the way to where my studio is located and I certainly wasn't going to, in a trade out, spend money in renting a studio. It's just not cost effective. So that's what I did. And I think you can see here the result is fabulous and uh, she looks terrific. As far as the trade out is concerned, I got the photographs here for my YouTube video and I also got the photographs from my blog. Now, talking about my blog, maybe you might wanna pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com and check out my blog. I've got lots of other photographs on there and uh, how I did some of the things and you might get a little bit of inspiration to do some things of your own. I also have a PDF of a book that I put together you can download. So pop over to Andre Felix photo.com and check it out. Now, if you subscribe to my channel here, thank you very much. If you haven't, maybe it's time you subscribed. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.